Let's rock, baby. I'll oh, salute to all you mons. Welcome to a let's play of Devil May Cry. I'm Hunter, and I'm Hunter, and we're God damn it, splash screen! And we're a hunter and hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is actually one of my favorite, most favorite, one of my favorite games of all time. Favorite game series. Two millenniums ago, and there was a war between oh, the human world sorry. and the other, the underworld. But somebody from the underworld woke up to justice and stood up against this legion alone. His name was Sparta. Later, he quietly reigned the human world and continued to preserve harmony until his death. He became a legend. The legendary Dark Knight, Spider. Legendary Dark Knight Spider. Slow down, babe. Well, well, what do we have here? Nature calls? It's in the back. So, you must be the handyman who'll take any dirty job. Am I correct? Almost. I only take special jobs. If you know what I mean. You're the man who lost a mother and a brother to evil 20 years ago. The son of the legendary Dark Knight Sparta, Mr. Dante. Well, the way I figure it, in this business, a lot of your kind comes around. And if I kill each one that comes, eventually I should hit the jackpot sooner or later. In that case, you should be used to this sort of thing. <laughs> Well, that hurt. <laughs> Are you really the son of the legendary Dark Knight Sparta? Didn't your daddy teach you how to use a sword? I was curious about that. Sword. <laughs> Time to go to work, guys. <laughs> I would honestly guess Even it as a be child, I had powers. Father. There's demonic blood in me. What strength? You were the first one to know about my inventions. Looks like I'm getting closer. It seems that way, but I'm not your enemy. My name is Trish. Yes, a staple in the franchise. To put an end to the underworld. What? I love how talk hard to take off her fucking shades. And like, oh shit, she looks like my mother! Twenty years ago, Mundus, the emperor of the it's underworld, like was erected. Oh, you don't see my eyes? Mundus. Then you can't tell that I'm yes. this person. His powers were sealed by Sparta. He's attempting to gain control of the human world once again. He has been preparing to open the gate on Malay Island. Is above this cliff. Come on, really? let's go. A, yeah. Is that a gun that isn't a? Is it considered female? Yeah. Um. Uh, Ebony and Ivory, and unless you count the DMC remake. Oh no, it wasn't. Not the DMC remake. Uh, 
time to start playing. And already I don't remember what the fuck to do. Oh yeah, not remember. Oh, jump down. Okay. Let's get started. Alrighty. Time to introduce our first weapons. These are our pistols. Ebony and ivory. Still handguns meant for rapid fire succession. You need to hold down R1 to shoot them. Because it originally it was meant to be Resident Evil 4, but was so different from the original Resident Evils that it was just remade into Double May Cry. So yeah, still kinda has that. It doesn't fix that thing until two. And our first melee of choice is Force Edge. It's your basic weapon. Has no elemental powers, but it's a really good overall weapon if you need to get shit done. Ah, Gold Orb. A sacred stone, a yellow orb. A sacred stone that brings back life after death. Basically, your sort of continues. By the way, yes, we are both going to be playing. Just Rosie will be playing more often than I am. Yeah. Oh shit. Hold on. I remember there being a secret up here. Hold on. Yee? Yee? No. No. Hold on. I got this. Hey, got it. Got it. Third try. Blue Order of Fragment. Also known as the Fragment of Life, but it is only one piece. For the fourth of the whole piece. When it becomes whole, it will raise the, raise the power to increase. It will have the power to increase the vitality's maximum limit. <sighs> God damn it. Yes. Blue Orders are basically your um, health builder. They're your heart containers, basically. Oh god, I just not open the map. Alright, so L2 is to press open the map. Also, I'm doing this on PS4 if you know me. So, if you press options, this will open the map. I don't know why I have to fucking tell you that. You probably already know. So, Vital Stars. A rare stone that revitalizes energy. You're basically your healing potion. Amulet. Key item. And it'll come important later. Weapons. First, these are your list of guns. Don't ask why it has devil arms at the top. It just leads over here to your devil arms. We have force edge. A, men a memento of Dante's father, Sparta. Force edge. And Dante's handmade guns. It's funny how force edge looks smaller than rebellion. Yeah, but you always gotta remember this was made before rebellion was even out, so. Yeah, I and know. Actually, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, mission one. Curse of the bloody pope. Break the evil stone. Oh, I'm just pointing out. It is funny how you know they made rebellion bigger. Okay, I'll put it on the headset. But leave me one of your piece off so I can hear. Bigger than Force Edge, even though if you if we wouldn't find that logic. I am trying to get the better of those guys could be because you know don't really short. <laughs> but no, uh, rebellion is just a bigger sword in general. Okay, red orb, a red stone used to unlock new skills and doors. To acquire new skills, you must offer the stones to the god of time. Okay, hold on. Well, that says get skills and open doors. Yeah. And all right. All right. Uh, what the? Oh yeah. This door is sealed shut. A rusty key may help. I think we need, what, a hundred orbs or so? 45. 45 red orbs to open this door. Alright. Ah, it's closer, so I have to go. stay on here? I uh, know that I thought that was a secret orb right there. Ah. Goes on. There we go. Lower fragment. Two of four. All right. Yeah, I think we got yeah go over here. Then we get some orbs down this way. Yeah, Don't May Cry 1 is a kind of a slower game. The run speed, but don't worry. 
Everything will be fine, I promise. We're all gonna die. Thanks for your encouragement, brother. Thanks for your fucking encouragement. What? No, fuck you. I have five orbs, I need ten more. Oh, sweet. Found him. Forty-five, alright, time to go. Oh god. Forty five red orbs to open the door. This is literally the only time where you open a door for red orbs. No, I think there was a couple other times. I just don't remember when. Ah, this part. Don't remember this part. As you know I do remember this part. Door. Let's break some shit. Let's break some more shit. The table. That. Alright, walking up the stairs. I just love, uh, Don't Make Cry 1's Dante's look. It's, it's around the witch corner. It's a puppet that resembles the residents of this castle. Hole. Roof. Got it. First, armor. Nothing? Alright. Weapon. Sweet. Armor. Nothing. Armor. Nothing. Alright. Fuck it. Let's go. Shit. Let's go. There we go. Orb. Ooh, shiny. How long is this gonna do? Ah, fuck, let's do it. Rusty, this key is rusted, but it should work. Now let's get going. Whoop, the oh, fuck? Well, introducing the first actual enemy in this game. Alright. I start to explain. As you fight, you have this stylish meter. The more impressive columns you do without repeating yourself, the higher it goes. The higher it is, the more red orbs you get. Alright. But yes, those first enemies are the marionettes. Let's go over and check him out. Enemy. Marionette. A low class evil spirit that borrows the body of a puppet in order to exist in the physical realm. The more you kill them, I think, the more information you get about them. Bloody Mary. They are low class evil spirits that borrow the bodies of, of puppets in the order to exist in the physical state. They're ever just died with human blood, so it increases their evil powers. I will be doing that for every new enemy come across, and yeah, pretty much, and at the end of every mission. <sighs> you use the rusty key. New door. There's something written. The 17 puppets are my masters. There will be no admission as long as my masters are here. Oh shit. I saw, yep, see a blower fragment up here. Third blower fragment! This is a play! This will be important for later. I was a little how the plane has no shadow, but Dante does. Ah! This thing. Basically, beat the shit out of it and it'll unlock shit. That's why I can explain. Imagine a punching bag of unlocking this. Now, I might be a little rusty of this game, so don't judge me too harshly.
more damage as much as possible. Come on. This bitch is down. Absolutely. Done. Green ore! The secret stone that revitalizes energy as soon as you get it. Uh, it's like a quick health pickup. Don't know how to compare it into any other game that I know. No, just go with a healing platform. That sucks, but I came close. And that's the end of the mission. Clear time, 8 minutes. Orbs, 168. Double hunter rank, B. Got 200 extra orbs. Time to save. Oh god, I remember this back on PS2. So apparently this episode has been 16 minutes so far. How long? How much longer do, should we record? Should we do the next mission? Yeah, we'll do the next mission. Yeah, we'll go do the next mission. Judge of Death. Open the door of the cathedral. Power up! Time to show power ups. Extras. These are extra stuff you can get. Devil Star increase your devil trigger. I will introduce that later. Vital Star. You know what that does? Holy Water. Sort of a AoE clear most enemies it and it's to kill most common enemies and does massive damage to bosses touchable a shield will surround your body protecting you from any attack for a certain period you will also be in a double trigger state during this period this is the only game that has this if from what I remember yeah I have blue orb yeah you can buy blue orbs to raise up your maximum right. health straight up and purple orbs again double trigger I'll explain that when it comes Time to start our mission. Mission start. Ooh, door, let's go through here. Ah, love this one. Okay, this is a goddess statue. I meant to introduce it earlier. Ooh! Woo! First blue orb! Reduce that health by a little bit. Ah! Trophy urn! Blue demon! Anyway, this is a time statue. You go it to get to power up if you're not in between missions. They are scattered throughout the entire game.
through her chest. Wait, I can hear a voice. I am Alistair. The weak shall give their heart and swear their eternal loyalty to me. Cool? Oh no! Dante is deaded! Well, he survived being impaled earlier, so I don't know why this would kill him. the ability of Devil Trigger. Now, this one is a bunch of signs. Symbols, not signs. Either way. Whatever. But, um... Okay. Devil Trigger is a transformation that turns you into your... that unleashes your inner demonic powers. So you do more damage and get elemental ammunition. Our next new weapon, shotgun, a wide range gun, very destructive at close range. You're basically secondary gun most of the time. Also, I still love that. Whenever you equip them, there's a little animation and then it goes down. A grim reaper like devil is depicted. A key is embedded. Shall I take it? Yes! Oh, she didn't look at the key. Rusty key. Ah, another rusty key. Time to leave. Calling the judge that. It looks like the judge should be holding something. Is that where the rusty key is supposed to go? Oh no, I think I remember where it needs to go. Should I go upgrade Alistair first? See if you can get at least one upgrade. Oh, double trigger today. So I'm gonna just pop in and show you what it does. As you can see, you get a little glow around you of the element, purple since you're using Alistair. Electric charge weaponry, and when you're double trigger with Alistair, you run fast. I think it also does it with the other weapon, but I won't say what it is yet. Yes, Alistair. Stinger, level one. With lightning speed, plunge the sword into enemies. Instantly get that. There's also a round trip. Throw the sword like a boomerang. Air hike, double jump in the air. Really fucking useful. 
Air raid. Become airborne and capable to perform aerial electrocution attacks. Only when in double trigger. In four attacks, damage enemies with an intense spinning body attack. Again, only in double trigger. Time to get a sting of level one. This is basically your opener most of the time. One of my personal favorite openers, and I always use it. Let's go ahead and switch over back to my handgun. Ebony and Ivory. I got another trophy. Get off of me, you whore! I've never had them done that before in my what? see it. Interesting. Door? You used a rusty key. Sweet. I think if I can get on this fountain, there's some red orbs I can get. No. Try again. Yeah, there we go. Ow! Fucking hell, that's got the shit out of me. There's an immense power that will not allow anyone to get closer. If I can confront the lion, I'll need a sign. You can definitely tell the remnants of like a... Also, with the camera constantly spinning, that is not me controlling the camera. Oh god, not this. Fuck you. Next camera. Also, while double checking, you also recover HP over time. I forgot to mention that, but, um, eh. I know there's things where you just joint it and, you know, all of the. There's something engraved beneath the opening. This is where the guiding souls gather. Okay! Yeah, I know, sure said, like, we're supposed to go down here and open this. I used to be stuck here for fucking ever. It was a pain in the ass. Staff of Judgment. A staff that shines with mysterious light. I think 
this is where I should start getting my shotgun out. We're about to meet a brand new enemy! Shotgun! And if you play this game, you know what it is! in the face with a shotgun. Yeah, I don't really like them. Send scissors, all right. Oh, new information about the bloody runners. The daggers they throw travel in a straight line. If you can see the enemy preparing the attack, you should be able to avoid being hit. They also throw crescent shaped blades that curve around obstacles to attack you. Keep a sharp eye on and watch your movements. Once they catch you, they will not let go so easy as they will try to slash and gash at your neck. Wiggle the, wiggle the left stick to shake them off. They will make a screeching evil war cry to immobilize their, those near them. If you become immobilized, quickly wiggle the left stick to free yourself. Since they exist as physical entities, they can be destroyed by physical means. Use guns, swords, and other ways to destroy them to oblivion. We're missing one more part of this. Same thing. Now there's one thing that they don't tell you, and I don't know if it's it was on this difficulty, but I know for a fact in later difficulties, the Bloody Mary starts spawning with a fucking sawed off shotgun. And it fucking hurts. Send scissors! They are one of the low class evil spirits that can only exist by taking the shape of physical objects. These evil spirits have chosen deadly scissors as their shape. These evil spirits are dependent on the masks they wear. They cannot exist without them. Their capes are nothing more than an illusion created by the evil spirits. All physical attacks against them are useless and easily blocked. When they are coming down with their scissors, there is a short moment of time where you... <sighs> Excuse me. Time where they are off guard. If you attack at the right moment, you will be able to damage them quickly. They will deflect your attacks using the scissor. If you are able to knock the scissor out of their hands, they will become defenseless. This will be your chance to blast your gun at them. If the gun is shot from a close range with their mask or when their mask are there, you'll be able to eliminate them with one shot. Oh hell yeah. The shotgun will absolutely destroy them, no matter what difficulty you're on. What the fuck? No, hold on. Let me get my pistols. Bugs everywhere. It's a carving of the Judge of Death. It looks like it holds something. Shall I use the Staff of Judgment? Yes. That's the end of the mission. That took me much longer. B. Orbs 200. Sweet. Save. Wow, this has been a let's play of Delta May Cry. I'm Hunter. And I'm Hunter. And we'll see you later. Bye.